Democrats have a bold plan for campaigning in 2018. They're going to uh, campaign against lower taxes. Want to invest in growing jobs. We'll look at some of those resources are going to people who are not going to use them to grow the economy. Um, and Is that raising the tax rate back again on the highest income? I, 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 think, I, I think certainly we'll look to have revenues as opposed to simply creating more debt. Uh, revenues, that would be code for <laughs> tax hikes. <laughs> That is tax hikes. The Democrats also have a number of far left candidates proud to call themselves socialists. Is this really a winning strategy for the midterms? Here to weigh in the host of Making Money with Charles Payne on FBN. Of course, Charles Payne himself in the flesh. Charles, good to have you with us. I love how they become the party of no debt. <laughs> right. But who Just wants like that? that? Charles, who wants that? Uh, who wants who wants to actually get back these tax cuts? Uh, you know, that's really what I want to know. It's 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 an amazing strategy. You know, the only time it resonates, I think, with some people is if you say, hey, this person's getting more than you. It's unfortunate that we still have, perhaps, where politics of envy can still be effective. But other than that, it's just nonsensical that anybody would say, hey, I want to give back more money. And I want to stem the tide of, of increased hiring, increased w wages, and, and increased business investment. Because that's what's happening right now. And uh, it's only going to get better, I think, for the next Is few years. Is that really tough for Democrats if you look at the midterms around the corner, or even in 2020, if the economy stays strong, if people feel like they have more money in their wallets, they're able to, to pay for things, to give their kids and their family a better life, what message do Democrats then have to combat that? Uh, the, I, you know, they will say, hey, you have more, you, but someone has a lot more. So if you put me in office, I'll find a way of getting that from this person and even trying to transfer the wealth back. Listen, we went through eight years of that so-called wealth transfer. Uh, we saw welfare go through the roof. We saw food stamps go through the roof. But we were told it was a good thing. Nancy Pelosi said it has a multiplier effect. So if someone gets a lot of food stamps, he'll spend a lot of money. It's, it's, it, again, it's, it's, oh, it's counter to everything that really made America uh, the most amazing nation in the first place, particularly economically. It's, it's, it, it goes against the grain. Entrepreneurship cratered to an all-time low. We, we are getting all of that back, and one beautiful thing is success begets success. So this momentum that we have is not going to go away on its own. In fact, it's going to only get better. Well, with that in mind, Bernie Sanders has come out and said the Trump agenda is dead if the Democrats win the midterms. And I believe we have a full screen quote we can put up for you. There it is. If Democrats control either the House or the Senate, Trump's agenda is dead. The only problem with that comment is, well, there's two problems. One. You can't predict the future, and B, even if that does happen, he can still stock the federal courts. And, uh, and, and the president has been doing that very successfully. Uh, there's some things he can do, and I, I'm glad that uh, one of the untold stories that largely was the removal of a lot of those regulations in the first year in office. That was really destroying our country. I mean, I'm talking like farmers who would have dust particles, you know, <laughs> or, 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 or ponds being considered, I mean, a little uh, puddle, uh, puddles being considered ponds. I mean, overzealous, just nuts. It really 